Bond, defender of the universe. Today on review, we are looking at Voltron for the Xbox 360, also available on the PS3 for roughly around 10 bucks. Voltron pretty much is a dual stick shooter which follows some of the events from the classic American version of Go Lion, which is the court Voltron Force. And the story pretty much follows the event of the TV show, but not exactly as you might remember them. The game itself actually used scenes from the classic anime, but the only issue here is the scenes doesn't exactly match what is going on with the game itself. For example, be in one of the video, Voltron Force is fighting in a desert, and in the level that followed the cutscene, you are in the woods. So, a lot of the levels do not match with the anime style, and the anime is, haven't been redone or anything. These are the direct scenes from the original version of the anime. But the gameplay feels a little bit better than the overall presentation of the game. Of course, like I said, this is a dual deck shooter. With you taking control of one of the five lions, going through rescuing survivals, and just pretty much destroying everything that gets in your way from beginning of the level to the end. But the game might be functional and fairly simple to control and have a lot of replay value with each lion controlling distant with distant power up and distant type of ammo type right along with of course the look of the lion itself. The problem here is the game has some major flaws in the gameplay section. Mainly one of them would be a game ending glitch in the second stage of the game which, if you do not want to pass a certain number of bridges and you kill everyone instead, your game will free and will have to either reboot your system or go back and restart the mission itself. And you will have a couple other little bugs here and there like that along the way, but nothing to complain. Every now and again, if you're playing in multiplayer, if one of you get too far off green, your game might freeze. Mainly, this is noticed when you are doing faith battle with your lion of choice. But everything outside the glitches in the game and not compelling to the actual cutscene, it actually can be pretty fun. Especially if you have two or more people playing along, also will add a little bit more variety and help with some of the battle. Because some of the battle can be a little difficult. Some of the monsters and tanks and other objects you will be fighting seem to be overpowered in certain section. And in the very end of the game, the last two levels seem extremely off balance and the difficult level just go from like 3 to 10 in a matter of one level. So this game can cause a little bit of frustration near the end of the game which in some cases it might be settled by setting it down to a lower setting but any then you can bet a challenge from the last couple stages in this. So at fall of when you actually in combat you also have a second stage which is not just fighting a lion. If your lion take too much damage your pilot of Troy will be kicked out of the mech and you having to run around on foot for a number of seconds while your mobile choice is being repelled. But the problem is here is some of that can be a little difficult because you are so small compared to everyone else. It might be quite difficult to keep track of where you are, especially in multiplayer since multiplayer can get a little chaotic when it comes to how many bullets are being fired off. And then of course at the end of every couple of level you actually play as Voltron. We did board down to a whole bunch of like mini game to settle the combat as far of trying to get a little ball inside of a circle to do more damage but in combination or just having like got flame but a loading ball coming up to actually a form to attack. And then in the cutscene when you actually form Voltron you have little QTEs event which it just you can't really fail them, it just adds more point to your overall goal, which can be a call cool show up on the leaderboard like always with all of these types of games. So overall, Voltron is an entertaining game, especially if you have friends to play with, even if it's extremely unbalanced. So I can't help but recommend it to anybody that just looking for a game to kill a couple hours. It's not good, it's not great, but it sure can be fun every now and again. But sadly, I have to give Voltron a 2 out of five. Way to go, team!